Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for coming to our press conference. Uh, today, I stand here with the great mayor of uh, Miramar, Mayor Mosley. I have a couple of commissioners here. Vice Mayor Pembroke Pines is here, Carl Schechter. Commissioner uh, Jay Schwartz is here as well. And we're gonna, we have the American Red Cross we're gonna introduce. And of course, the president of our chamber, Robert Goltz. Uh, the great mayor of Miramar and I work very closely together and we're on the leadership uh, team of the U.S. Conference of Mayors. So when this disaster hit, both mayors are very, very familiar with hurricanes and disasters here in South Florida. So we got together and said, we need to help. And we know how to do that. So let's get together, have a press conference. We want to make sure that our residents, both Pembroke Pines and Miramar residents, know how to contribute to those that are suffering that we know we suffered through Andrew and Wilma and those other storms. So uh, we have the American Red Cross, we're gonna give the mechanics of how to donate. Uh, and I was on the board of the American Red Cross. They're a great organization and we know that everything will go very well with those mechanics of the American Red Cross. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce the mayor of Miramar, Lori Mosley. Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. I think it's so important that communities join together and make a difference as one community and a community that wants to help others. Many of us are from New York or from New Jersey, and we understand what it's like to go through the aftermath of a hurricane. And it's particularly important as time goes on and those individuals who are homeless and now it's getting cold and now they don't have food, they don't have heat source. It's so important for us to get together and help them as a community because that's what I think the city of Miramar and the city of Pembroke Pines is about and showing that spirit of helping. So please, please give generously. Mayor Ortis. Thank you, Mayor. Okay, now it gives me great pleasure to introduce uh, from the Red, American Red Cross, Patricia Rojas. Thank you, Mayor. I would like to, thank you. I would like to uh, thank Mayor Mosley and Mayor Ortiz for this effort and for joining efforts and to the community also for the, in advance for their donations. As you know, this has been terrible. We still have like 5,800 um, volunteers and disaster workers in the area helping out. The, most of them are volunteers. We've served over 5 million meals, so your help is still much needed and there's gonna be more uh, weeks to come when people are going to stay at sh have to stay at shelters. So in order to donate to the Red Cross, which we would appreciate, uh, please visit our website at redcross.org or call 1-800-RED-CROSS or you can also text the word RED CROSS to 90999 and that would give a $10 donation and anything is appreciated and we really want to also thank the community for all the response we've gotten so far. Thank you, Mayor Ortiz. Also, um, in the spirit of giving the city of Miramar through the U.S. Conference of Mayors, a request had come out from New York City that they needed assistance. So we have a team that is at ready to go. They were going to go on Monday, but right now they said um, they will call us and we will be sending um, an emergency response team from the city of Miramar because unfortunately we've learned how to do this and we are offering our assistance in any way that we can. So we are waiting to receive the call. Thank you, Mayor. And another further word with U.S. Conference of Mayors. Last week, right after the storm, President Nutter and the U.S. Conference of Mayors leadership all got on a conference call to make sure we were on the same page. And repeatedly, the American Red Cross was talked about and uh, used for that organization. And the uh, Miramar and Pembroke Pines are members of the Pembroke Pines Ch and Miramar Chamber of Commerce, and many of them in our, our audience here tonight. So I, today, so I wanted to introduce Robert Gold to the executive director, so see how we could partner with our business community as well. Mr. Goltz. Thank you, Mayor Ortiz. It is a, a wonderful um, aspect of being here in Miramar and Pembroke Pines. We have such a great partnership with both of our cities, with the Chamber of Commerce. And uh, when the mayor called me and said uh, we we're going to do something for this uh, disaster, it was uh, actually something that came to my heart since I just came from New Jersey. The Chamber of Commerce then has taken on a secondary uh, piece with this uh, disaster relief. We want you to give your money to the American Red Cross. However, 
as Floridians, most of you have already stored hurricane relief packages in your house. You have food, you have blankets, you have the things that you need. We didn't need them this year. What we're asking you is, is to drop them off at area businesses, and we will have a list on our website of area businesses that you can drop non-perishable goods and things that we utilize in hurricanes to take up to, to New Jersey. Um, it's an endeavor that we're looking for. Please look at our website at uh, miramarpembrokepines.org and you'll have information on the various locations that you'll be able to drop that off. And we've already partnered with our uh, company GTS Transportation to make sure the semi takes that inf all that uh, food and goods up to New Jersey in a relatively uh, short amount of time. So I'll pass it back over to the mayor. Thank you, Mr. Goltz. Again, I can't emphasize enough the importance of donating as generously as you can. We've all been through the pain. When we see on the news what's going on, people still do not have power. You know, they've got a northeasterner after that. It's cold. Please be generous as you can. Mayor, I want to thank you again for organizing this press conference. Uh, so we'll open up for any questions that you might have. Okay, if that, yes. Yeah, our, our emergency operations directors are coordinating both of those campaigns, and that we do that throughout the country. So uh, the mayors kind of stay out of that. We let those that are really knowledgeable about those situations take care of that. Mayor, am I correct? Yes. We were actually going to, um, we have preparations to send our fire chief, our emergency management director, our procurement director, someone from UASI and police um, organizing we're going to go and um, another individual from our fire department we were going to send a team that um, could work in an overall basis so provide them the logistical needs they asked for many things and we through our cities are providing different things we as the mayors are working on the red cross effort um, we are working with the chamber to provide goods but we also know by living in florida we could provide logistical services that maybe you know, uh, this is different than um, anything that they've experienced, the winter hurricane. So we could provide that expertise, and that's what we planned on doing. Well, we're going to send that with the chamber and the cities. We'll organize that. We'll have drop sites. We'll get them up with trucks. The president of the uh, executive director of the chamber said we're going to have trucks, you know, running them up there. We can get airplanes. Whatever quickly needed, we're going to try to do. We'll organize that quickly. Yeah, and again, we have our emergency directors that do all of that. They're experts in it, and uh, we try to do whatever we can. Any other questions? Well, thank you all for coming. Let's get this relief effort going right away. Thanks very much.